Okay, good, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Hornet Nation parents, stakeholders, scholars, and staff members. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for um, your collaboration, for your partnership, for um, allowing um, your students to continue to go to Aldine ISD schools, in particular Hoffman Middle School, AKA Hornet Nation. And they're still our babies, they're still our students, regardless of whether they're learning at home or they're learning on campus. Uh, we have one of our um, hybrid or virtual um, and face-to-face -face teachers on uh, now, uh, Ms. Roby. Um, and we have Ms. Ogantuga as well, who is also um, a hybrid uh, teacher. Uh, when we say hybrid, we're saying that they teach um, uh, virtual um, students as well as teaching face-to-face -face, um, students. Um, we have Ms. Estrada uh, that's on today, and uh, she will be our uh, translator. Um, is there anyone that's on that needs uh, the translation? If you could, um, Ms. Estrada, if you would ask them so that we can um, make certain that, that you're uh, translating as we go. Ms. Estrada, if you would unmute yourself. Y quería saber la principal si alguien en esta junta necesita que nosotros le traducimos la información. Sí, por favor. Okay, thank you. So we will continue on. So Mrs. Estrada, if you can, um, uh, we'll get to just uh, varied points and then uh, you'll translate after me, okay? Okay. Okay, well, once again, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to um, Coffee or Cafe uh, with the, uh, and Conversations with the Principal. Um, I uh, want you to know that I consider it um, an opportunity and an honor uh, to uh, be the principal of Hoffman's Middle School. I want to introduce um, a few of our faculty family uh, that is on the call um, this morning. Um, first, I see, and I'm going to go in the order that, that I see on here. I see Ms. Um, Ogintuga, Ms. Jasmine Ogintuga. Uh, she's a career technology teacher, but she also serves as our face or family and community engagement coordinator. Uh, next, I see Ms. Yolanda. Um, Humber Dixon. Ms. Dixon is um, our uh, lead counselor um, and she also uh, serves on uh, the CARES uh, committee and then of course is um, here for um, everything and all things counseling. Um, next I see Ms. Uh, Roby. She's eighth grade science teacher and she's one of those hybrid teachers um, that um, she has uh, some face-to-face -face, um, classes, and then she have uh, some virtual um, learning at home classes. Next, I see Ms. Uh, Crawford, uh, Ms. Jennifer Crawford. She um, is our um, counselor as well, and she's also our um, LPAC or EL um, uh, counselor and co-coordinator, um, and she's um, all things, um, English language um, learners, Ms. Crawford. I did see Mr. Nimmons. He is our science um, skill specialist. Mr. Shaler, he is our librarian or ILS. And then I see Ms. Potts. Ms. Potts is our testing coordinator. You will be hearing uh, from her as we get into our testing season. And then last but not least, I see Ms. Um, Estrada, and she is our um, uh, assistant front office coordinator, um, as well as our translator for today, Ms. Um, Estrada. 
So, um, bienvenidos a Café con la Principal. Aquí tenemos la señorita Ogentua, que es la profesora de tecnología. Uh, la señora Miss Amber, que es la consejera y forma parte de Comedy de uh, Cuidados. La señora Roby es la maestra de ciencias de octavo grado. Y la señora Crawford es nuestra consejera um, y consejera de coordinación de LPAC. Uh, el señor Nimmons es nuestro especialista en habilidades científicas. Y el señor Shader es nuestra biblioteca. Uh, de Carío y la señora Potts nuestra, es nuestra coordinadora de las pruebas y mi nombre es Ms. Estrada. Okay, um, so we're going to uh, dig right in um, to our purpose and campus updates. We will be doing this every uh, second Wednesday of the month and it's just a time for us to uh, converse, uh, collaborate, and uh, give you updates as to what's going on here on campus, um, but also uh, a way of just getting dialogue or uh, any kind of input or suggestions or to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, uh, haremos esta cada segundo de miércoles del mes, uh, solo para recibir comentarios y su sugerencias y respuestas um, para ustedes. Okay. Um, just so you'll know, this um, has been a year where we have had to pivot. We've had to be resilient. We've had to um, be creative and thinking outside of the box. Um, all for the common uh, purpose that our students would continue to learn. Okay. Este ha sido un año en el que tuvimos que ser creativos y pensar fuera de la caja para que nuestros estudiantes continúen a aprender. Okay. So, um, our Hornet Nation celebrations, uh, we've had four um, first days of school. We started out September 8th um, and then we went to uh, September, wait, September 14th. Um, and then we um, welcomed our eighth graders back on October 5th. And each of the times that we came together with our students, we made certain that everyone knew that although it was not business as usual uh, in the sense that we were now learning uh, from a, a Schoology, uh, platform, instructional platform, but also um, it was business as, as usual because we wanted to ensure that our students continue to get all of the information that they needed uh, per grade level and be able to continue to be successful in mastering the TEKS um, at school. Ok, nosotros comenzamos la escuela cuatro diferentes veces este año, uh, pero cada vez que continuamos que tenemos con, con la misma cosa que íbamos a continuar aprendiendo. So, um, we understand that many of our students are coming uh, to school and they may even be at home and they may not have um, their um, own Chromebook, um, or they uh, may not even have hotspots or internet um, in your home. Okay, entendemos que muchos de nuestros estudiantes vienen a la escuela o trabajan en línea, pero no tienen su propia computadora. Okay, but uh, from Alding ISD, we uh, will not um, stop until every child has their own um, Chromebook or laptop, um, and as well have their um, access to uh, the internet. So if you're on here and you have, um, we'll just say, you know, more than one child, um, 
we still want you to uh, fill out a request for technology, but just know that right now uh, we have not went uh, completely one-to-one -one at the middle school level, but that is the plan for Alden ISD. El distrito de Alden, uh, no vamos a parar hasta que todos los estudiantes tienen su propia computadora. En este momento todavía uh, estamos uh, dando los computadores a los niños que no tienen una en la familia, pero por favor todavía se ponen a uh, firmar la solicitud de te tecnología para que nosotros uh, podamos recibir las computadoras uh, para dar una computadora por estudiante. So if you are on here um, and um, you need um, or your child needs a Chromebook, and or if you need internet at your home or apartment or place of uh, living, uh, we ask that you would please uh, put your name in the chat um, box down here, um, as well as uh, including your student ID. And or you can call the school at 713-613-7670. Si usted tas, um, necesita de una computadora o portal de internet, escriba su nombre en el, cual, el cuadro de chat y pongo la, el número de identificación de estudiante o puedes llamar a la escuela a 713-613-7670. Are there any questions on that bef uh, before we go further? I want to make certain that, that we do have an understanding. Hay preguntas um, de lo que estamos diciendo en este momento? Okay, so before we go further with um, Nurse Gracie, I see that um, our curriculum assistant principal, Ms. Noble Taylor, has um, joined us and I want to um, give space right here for her to talk about the um, hack or uh, the home access center to ensure that we um, are have your updated information and that you're in the hack system so that you're receiving pertinent information uh, regarding grades and things of that sort. Ms. Noble Taylor. Good morning nation parents it's good to see you this wonderful wednesday morning i uh, thank you thank you for taking the time to spend your morning with us and have coffee i do want to um, just reiterate that all the isd is utilizing our resources and one of those resources is our home access center and in the home access center you will be able to gain access to all of your students information for example you uh, will have access to uh, the teachers and their direct email addresses you will have access to uh, your students um, attendance you will also have access to your students grades whether it be a progress grade or whether it be a report card grade you will have access and the ability to see how your student is progressing in their classes based on when those assignments are due. And so we want to make sure that every parent has that access because also the district collectively has decided to utilize the Home Access Center to distribute re progress reports and report cards. So when we say progress reports are out or report cards are available, that's where you would go to retrieve that information. I'll give Ms. Estrada an opportunity to translate. Okay, um, esta es la señorita, señora Miss Noble Taylor, uh, es principal asistente. Um, está hablando del centro de acceso domiciliario uh, para tener acceso a la información de los estudiantes, um, como los profesores y el correo electrónico directo de los profesores. Uh, puede saber la asistencia de los estudiantes los grados de los estudiantes y por dar a ver cómo está progresando su estudiante y queremos asegurarnos uh, de que todos los padres en, uh, en la escuela tengan acceso a, al centro de acceso domiciliario, ¿ok? 
So I want to also make you aware of where do you get this access? How can you establish access into your student's home access center? Well, on our district's website, there is a student parent option. If you click on that option, you'll see right smack dab in the middle of the screen, home access center. And from there, you will be able to read over the uh, requirements for having a login. And you will also be able to create your login. If you come to a stumbling block, at that point, we want you to call the campus because what that means is that the, dis our, the campus does not have a valid email address for you, which is required in order for you to establish the uh, home access um, uh, login, okay? And so from the district's website, under the student parent portal, you will click on home access center. And from there, you will have the ability to establish a login. If you have trouble, please reach out to the campus at the number that was previously provided by Ms. Adams. Ms. Estrada. Yes. Uh, puede obtener acceso en el sitio web de nuestro distrito. En esta opción de padres y estudiantes, verá donde dice centro de acceso a la casa para que puede crear un in inicio y um, de sesión. Um, utilice la dirección, el correo electrónico que tú uh, usaste para registrar estudiante en la escuela. Si no tienes uno en la escuela, puedes hablar a la escuela a la oficina de registro y poner un correo electrónico para poder, uh, nosotros ponemos a ponerlo en el sistema y puedes usarlo para acceso de casa. So just to reiterate, we want to make sure that you have just an open line of communication with your uh, students, teachers. And so you'll be able to get information about their schedule, about the, and, and then you'll also be able to alert the, the teacher on and make comments on different grades and things of that nature. So please, please, please make sure that you establish that connection. And guess what? You can actually have the access on your cell phone. So if you have an Apple or if you have an Android, you'll be able to have that app on your cell phone so that you can quickly get to the Home Access Center to get information about assignments, attendance, uh, discipline records. If you want to set up an alert to alert you of when a grade goes below a 75, you can do that as well. So nomás para decir otra vez, Nosotros en la escuela queremos tener una línea abierta para la comunicación con los profesores de, de sus alumnos uh, para obtener información sobre los horarios y las califica calificaciones del estudiante. Thank you, parents. Ms. Ms. Noble, can you all see that? Yes. Okay. So I yes, just wanted perfect. just to let, let them see just how simple it was and then they would go down and click the, the red button right here. And it shows how to register in English as well as how to register in Spanish. Yes, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Noble Taylor. Thank you. Okay. Now um, we're going to um, go ahead bef uh, and uh, go back to our agenda. So we've talked about celebrations. Uh, we've talked about technology requests um, and the need for all of our students to have their um, devices here on campus. And then of course, the home access center so that you can stay abreast with what's going on uh, with your child on a daily basis. Now, um, another important thing that we want to discuss with you um, is immunizations. And we ask that you would please, at this point, um, hear from our own um, medical director and school nurse, uh, Ms. Gracie Morris. Nurse Gracie, um, if you would unmute yourself. There we go. Now you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everybody. I hope you all are enjoying your coffee as I am enjoying my Coke Zero. 
since I'm not a coffee drinker. But just want to reiterate and talk about the immunizations. I know many of you got uh, emails from me. And I just want to kind of reiterate that, that those immunizations, mostly the Tdap and the meningitis or the shots that's due now, or some of them are past due, they have to be done now. And we need them before the 30th of November. Because on the 30th, as we return from our Thanksgiving break, the system, you're, you're, if you're working from home, the device is going to be shut down. And the students on campus would not be able to come to campus without those shots. These two shots are very important. Why? Meningitis, as you know, is a very common disease that happens to a lot of students, college students, as well as high school children. And it, sometimes it kills them instantly. Sometimes they are paralyzed for the rest of their life. Some just don't make it. So it's important because it's an infection in, your, in the cerebral spinal fluid and it's contagious and it can damage every system in your body. Not only that, it's contagious. It can spread to other people. So it's so important because we're around so many kids during school, in school and in big gatherings. So please get those two shots. The state required is not Gracie, it's not Nurse Gracie, but it's Nurse Gracie encourage you to get them because the state requires them and the TEA requires us to make sure that they are on every student have received them unless they are exempt from their shots. The deadline again is November, the actually the 30th, the 20th, but I'm giving you to the 30th only because we return from the Thanksgiving break. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me, take the child's shot record to their clinic, whatever clinic they're gonna go to, their doctor. There are multiple clinics around Harris County that are free. Just look up Harris County Clinic Health Clinics and they will give the child the shots. There are other clinics in the Houston area. One Barry Clinic, uh, there's a clinic here on Antoine called UHP. They do them all for free. But please, it's important that we get those done. We have to get those. Every child has to have them to be registered in a school, not only Aldine ISD, HISD, and the school district around, Clear Creek, Clear Brook, Brook, Katie, wherever they go, they have to have them done, okay? The other thing I want to reiterate. That's crazy. Yes. Before, uh, can you let Ms. Uh, Estrada uh, oh, kind of translate yes. that and then before you go to your next point? <laughs> okay, es la enfermera Nurse Gracie habla sobre los inmunizaciones. Uh, había recibido un mensaje uh, de la señora Miss Gracie, enfermera Miss Gracie, uh, de las vacunas que ya están vencidas de los estudiantes. Incluso si está trabajando desde casa, um, hágalo porque el sistema se será, será cerrará y lo tienen que hacer antes del uh, 30 de noviembre um, so después de la semana de pago estas vacunas son importantes porque es peligroso si no las tiene no los recibe los estudiantes um, si tienes uh, preguntas para la enfermera sobre dónde puedes ir para agarrar los clínicas gratis o un clínica que está cerca de usted por favor llama a la escuela y te podemos uh, pasar con las, la enfermera Nurse Gracie para que te da más información. Pero um, sí lo tiene que hacer antes del 30 de noviembre porque como te dije, a uh, la sistema sí se cerrará será, será, um, en ese tiempo. So, si, eso es para los estudiantes que están trabajando a casa o si están viniendo en persona. Nurse Gracie, unmute yourself. Nurse Gracie, unmute yourself. Okay. okay. Done. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, any questions, concerns, or complaints at this time before I move on? Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is the mask. Make sure your child is wearing a mask every day. Reiterate at home that they wear the mask. 
They wash them at least every week and wear their mask above their nose and covering their mouth. Okay? And encourage them to keep their distance from other students. I want to do everything I can here at school and I will to do everything I can to keep your child safe and healthy. But I need you on my side at home. You can interpret that, Miss. Yes. Um, so, la segunda cosa que quieres decir la enfermera, que si puedes asegurarse que su estudiante y su hijo o su hija se está usando la máscara, pero también que lo, se lo está usando bien. Lo que tenemos problemas que los estudiantes no lo quieren usar bien, lo, lo ponen abajito del nariz. So, ella quiere que tú asegúrese con tu, tu estudiante que se está cubriendo la nariz, porque ella está tratando de hacer todo lo que ella puede en la escuela para que no se enfermen los estudiantes o pasen a uh, el, tú sabes, a uh, los, el virus o algo así. So, por favor, que se cubre el nariz. Okay, last thing. Emma. Okay, last thing. If your child wake up in the morning and say they have a sore throat, or they're congested, or they're coughing or sneezing a lot, Keep your child at home, please. Keep your child at home. Thank you. Okay, la última cosa, que si tu, si tu hijo o hija viene a la escuela, pero se despierta en la mañana y si está uh, congestionado o, o se está estruñando mucho, por favor, que se quedan en, en la casa. No los mandan en la casa porque nosotros te los vamos a mandar para atrás. Um, is it the same thing if I have a kind of weird breathing tempo? Like, it's a little bit hard to breathe when I'm inside. Am I just congested or do I need more exercise? Okay. Um, Caleb, she's talking about um, students that are, their learning mode right now is learning on campus. So right now your learning mode is learning at home. So you're, you're fine. This does not affect you. Cool. Okay. And Mr. Shaler, did you have anything to add, add to that? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, so we're almost finished with our agenda. Um, before we do, I'm going to ask if uh, Miss, I thought I saw Miss Garza. Yeah, Miss Garza and Mr. Stromer. Um, they're our um, uh, grade level uh, uh, assistant principals of eighth grade for Miss Garza and sixth grade for Mr. Stromer. You've heard from Miss Noble Taylor. Um, I'm going to ask if they would speak, and then we'll have words from our counselors, Miss Humber and Miss Crawford, and we'll see if you all have any questions. Um, and if not, then we will um, close out and then we will see you. I believe it's on December 9th. Ms. Gladys, where's that baby at? Hello? Go ahead, Ms. Garza. Good morning. I'm so glad to see people online. I just want to reiterate that, as Nurse Gracie said, if you stay home and you are sick, please also make sure that you are logging into Schoology because all your work is still on Schoology. So even though you're home, you may still make up your work in Schoology. And for those of you who are still home, make sure you're logging in every day. Make sure you log in every day, do your work every day, read a book every day, get off your phones and stop playing games for a little while and read a book, use your imagination a little bit. That's so much better than what the uh, phone and computer can provide for you. So again, like I said, just log in every day to Schoology. Okay, principal, Ms. Garza, um, dice que si se queda en casa porque está enfermo, por favor, todavía se um, inicia sesión en la computadora porque todavía le, um, tiene que hacer los trabajos de la escuela, ok? Mr. Stromer, now to you for 10 minutes. Good morning, everybody. It's nice to see everybody uh, 
on here and, and was able to join in. My name is Mr. Stromer and I'm the sixth grade administrator. Um, some of my responsibilities pertain to attendance and transportation. In regards to trans, uh, attendance, and I know it's already been said before, attendance is it's important. We need everybody here on campus so that you're able to uh, receive the best education in all the independent school district because our teachers and staff are absolutely amazing. Of course, we understand that if you're not feeling well and you uh, must stay home, that um, you do so to, to protect yourself and, and so that you can be, um, to get better and come back and join us. But we also ask that if you stay home or you keep your children home, that you communicate with Hoffman by contacting the attendance clerk, and that's Miss O'Neill, um, to just basically keep us in the loop and let us know what's going on. And then, like I said, just because you're not able to be on campus doesn't mean the learning has to stop. You can log on with Schoology and continue learning. Um, with transportation, we know that many of our students are uh, come to school by way of the school buses. If you have any concerns with transportation, with the route, with the pickup time, with um, any, any concerns whatsoever, please reach out and contact me and I will answer any question you have. And if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. And so we wanna assure that if your students ride the buses that they get to and from school with ease and um, safely. So once again, thank you for joining us this morning. And we are excited about the school year and all the opportunities that we have to offer um, your students and, and all stakeholders. So thank you once again. Okay, el señor Stromer um, es el principal de séptimo grado. Um, él es sobre asistencia y transporte. Uh, nuestros maestros y personas son increíbles, pero si no lo siente bien, no se siente bien, asegúrese que se mejore y, y regresa con nosotros. Um, asegúrese de com, uh, comunicarte con las maestras y la señora de asistencia de, de aquí. Um, con pro, uh, preguntas, le puedes hablar a la escuela y hablar con él. Thank you. Ms. Humber and Ms. Crawford. Good morning, parents. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I just wanted to remind or let you guys know that the grades for progress reports are available today. As Ms. Noble Taylor mentioned, the Home Access Center. Um, so everyone that does have access to the Home Access Center, the grades are now available for progress report uh, for this second nine weeks. Also wanted to um, remind some of you that there will be a meeting this afternoon for GT students and parents in reference to the history fair and science fair. Um, we'll also be doing some things with our personal graduation plans. So if you're a student or you receive a email, some information from the counselors, please um, respond to that in reference to the personal graduation plans where we're helping students continue to plan for their future. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Um, just want to oh, go ahead, Ms. Uh, Estrada. I'm sorry. Uh, la, señora, la señora Ms. Amber uh, nomás estaba hablando de las calificaciones del uh, informes de progreso. Esos van a estar disponibles uh, desde hoy. Ahora puede uh, consultar en el centro de acceso de, al hogar. Así ya tienes acceso, lo, te puedes meter y ver los grados de los estudiantes. Very good. Good morning. I'm Ms. Crawford. I, I'm one of the counselors here as well. I um, just want to let you all know that if your students are struggling, please make sure that you're reaching out to those teachers for assistance. They do have office hours if you are virtual. If they need assistance in the classroom, if they're here face to face, then please communicate with those teachers to make sure that they, they get the assistance that they need. Um, their grades are very important. We want to make sure that they are being successful in each of their classrooms. And as Ms. Umber said, we are working on personal graduation plans and those who are eighth graders, they should be completing up their four year plan in preparation for high school. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of those items, um, you are more than welcome to reach out to us. Our emails are available on um, the uh, website and I'll also put them in the chat for you as well. 
You guys have a great day. Okay, la señora Miss Crawford, um, si su, aquí nada más uh, quería decir si sus estudiantes tienen dificultades, uh, quiere que se comunica con los maestros para obtener la ayuda que necesitan, eh, si sobre si está trabajando en casa o en persona, uh, por favor, uh, comunicación con las maestras. Estamos trabajando en planes de gradación personales. Uh, nuestros correos electrónicos van a estar disponibles en el sitio de web de la escuela. Y ahorita le va a poner también la señora Miss Crawford uh, en el chat. OK. Are there any questions? We know we have given you a lot of information uh, within these last uh, 35, 47 minutes, um, but we wanted to ensure um, that we get the news out. The great things that's happening in Hornet Nation, um, the current events, the things that will happen, and then just to thank you for your collaboration and your partnership with us. I mean, we're truly excited to have each of our scholars uh, whether they're on campus or whether they're at home, we are super proud to have them to be a part of Hornet Nation. Ms. Estrada? Le hemos proporcionado mucha información, uh, pero queremos asegurarnos de dar a, a conocer los eventos actuales. Um, y las noticias. Gracias por su col colaboración con nosotros. Estamos emocionados de tener a, a nuestros estudiantes um, en la escuela, o sea, en casa, cualquiera estamos bien emocionados. Now, um, I know in all of these slides you've seen just pictures of me, um, but I want you to know it, it is not about me. The next time, of course, you'll, you will have other pictures um, of other staff members um, and things, but uh, it is more than just one person that makes Hornet Nation, Hornet Nation. Um, it is all of us together, the staff members, all staff members, um, all of our students, and then of course you, our parents and our stakeholders. That's what makes Hornet Nation, Hornet Nation. We ask that you would please stay connected with us. Um, if you, um, have a Twitter account, please follow us at Hoffman MS underscore AISD. Um, if you have Facebook, we ask that you would like us. We don't have friends, but if you go to our Facebook page and like us at Hoffman Middle School. And of course, if you have Instagram, uh, please um, follow us, friend us um, at Hoffman, uh, Floyd Hoffman Middle School. Um, we want to stay connected with you. Um, we want to hear from you, any suggestions that you may have, um, any input that you may be able to give us um, so that we can continue to move through this year uh, with excellence, with growth and greatness, with a bell-to-bell -bell mindset for our scholars. Uh, todos juntos, nomás quiero decir a uh, la principal mesa es que todos juntos, a uh, nuestro personal, con las maestras, nuestros estudiantes y los padres, es lo que hace um, Hornet Nation, Hornet Nation. Y aquí en este, en la computadora puedes saber que uh, los datos del Facebook, del Twitter y del Instagram. So uh, what questions do you have for us? Um, uh, it's 9.17 now. Um, we know that uh, you have a busy day ahead of you. We don't want to take any more time than we have to, um, but we have it slated until 9.30. So what questions do you have for us? Um, if you would like a copy of the presentation, we can share that with you. If you drop your um, email into the chat, uh, we'll uh, certainly share um, the presentation with you, but at this time, what questions or even what comments do uh, you have? En este momento no, no hay preguntas.
Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is our first um, conversation and coffee uh, with the principal. Uh, we will see you, we hope to see you if you um, on uh, December 9th, that's the second Wednesday of December. We hope to see you then. And we ask that you would go um, and tell um, another parent, another stakeholder, you know, about us. Um, and then last but not least, if you know anything about me and anything about Hornet Nation, we tweet, we tweet, we tweet. So I need, if you don't mind everyone, if you can just un, um, uh, do your video and put on your biggest smile so that we can take a picture and we're gonna tweet about it. Is that okay? Miss um, mm -hmm. uh, Estrada, if you can say that. A la principal Miss Adams, uh, le gusta tomar fotos, o si puedes abrir uh, la cámara para pa que se mire tu cara, por favor, uh, para que se to puedes tomar foto. Mr. Shaler, do you have your phone? I, I have uh, one of these um, bootleg. Y'all, I, I have misplaced my phone, so I have a bootleg phone, and it yes, doesn't I, take quite as good pictures. <laughs> I can cut us down. Okay. Three, two, one, smile. Got it. Thank you and bye. We'll see you, um, see you soon and happy uh, Thanksgiving. Pony Nation Pride is hard. <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks for coming. <laughs>